it is the highest policy making body in the country and should parade all past and present leaders who have the country at heart. But at the last count here, only four of them were in attendance in a meeting presided over by President Gulag Jonathan. The first subject matter, as briefed by the Akwaibom State Governor, centered on the confirmation that Nigeria is now Ebola free. The council also uh, advised that Nigerians should not rest on their hours. They should continue to be vigilant and then the borders should be well monitored uh, to ensure that we do not have a second soya visiting Nigeria. The council reviewed the report by the committee set up to investigate reports of discrimination across the states and mandated the committee to beef up the recommendations of sanctions against anyone that is working against the unity of the country in any guise. And on the update on the Chibok girls. Discussions are ongoing. Uh, what, was, uh, what came out from the National Security Advisor's briefing was the fact that the president will do everything possible to ensure the release of the, those young girls and to ensure the protection of lives and properties. The major players in the National Council of State took their leave one after the other while the Police Service Council reconvened to confirm the appointment of Mr. Suleiman Abba as the Inspector General of Police. The council was unanimous that the acting IG be confirmed as a substantive IG and it was, uh, the president was accordingly advised and uh, the president accepted the advice and appointed uh, Malam Abba as the substantive IG of police. We also recognize that police alone will be able to secure lives and property. They will need the cooperation and collaboration of every Nigeria. When it comes to issues of security, all of us should be seen as activists. The council was said to have agreed that 1% of the federal allocation accruing to the states should be set aside for the funding of the Nigeria police to equip them for the discharge of their duties, which includes the protection of lives and property of Nigerians. Chukuma Onwekusi, Channels Television News.